Kenny. Hello and welcome to Global Multimedia Online TV. With me, your presenter, Trifina Elizabeth Coca. You are watching Global Multimedia Online TV Daily Home News. In promoting sustainable education, Mankind's Initiative for Sustainable Human Empowerment and Development, Sierra Leone, has organized free classes for over 200 WASP pupils at the Silvanos Municipal Secondary School in Makeni to help complement the effort of government during the COVID-19 global pandemic. Victoria Kamara puts this together and now reports. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected educational system worldwide leading to the unusual closing of schools, colleges, and universities. In Sierra Leone, the Ministry of Basic and Secondary School Examination announced the resumption of schools for pupils who are supposed to write to three public examination on 1st July 2020. Due to the long period of staying home, many people seem to have forgotten about their studies and are yet to complete the syllabus. An organization, Mankind's Initiative for Sustainable Human Empowerment and Development, CLU, Meshed, in promoting sustainable education, organized a self funded free extra classes for WASP pupils at the Silvanos Municipal Secondary School in order to complement the efforts of the government and school teachers. According to Executive Director Mohamed Sansi, he said the organization is a youth-led initiative and therefore gets to empower women and girls in bringing out their fullest potentials and as well to promote educational sector. A few years back, I also had the same issue where in the, in the Ebola pandemic hit the country and also people also came to my aid and I'm sure they provided the same assist to me. And there is one thing the guy told me up till now, I still remember. The guy told me that we are providing this assistance to you for you to again provide it for people in the future. And at the end of the day, the, 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 almost the same situation came up again. And we thought of it, okay, let's do it for other people again. And I believe if every Sierra Leonean think the same way we did, then Sierra Leone will be different. Uh, young guys, we are youth that think development and act development. When we thought of this, when we thought of this idea, we came together, contributed our money individually to ensure we start the process. But now we are begging and asking for authorities to please come to our aid to ensure that we continue taking this class. Actually, we we decided to cater for 200 students, but to our surprise, we now we now have more than 600 students begging us every day to enroll them into this uh, this process. Joseph Sapun Katsure, chairman of the organization, explained the mechanism set in place. To ensure effectiveness, they will be tutoring five core subjects to each faculty, with an expectation that all pupils grab the opportunity and make use of it judiciously. Well, um, we defined these classes to go well through the timetable. From the timetable that have given us the number of teachers we needed, to be enrolled into these classes. And currently, each subject is having a subject master. But like, um, we, we consider the five core subjects for each faculty. Five core subjects for the sciences, five core for the commercial students and the arts. Beneficiaries, however, shows their impression and readiness for classes with a promise to work hand in gloves with their teachers. Very, very excited for this privilege that I got to attend a class where I will not pay anything. I expect that I will come with flying colors. I promise them again that I will make them to be proud of this of their initiation that they help us to bring development in our lives. I thank these guys for them to come up, come up with this idea of these free classes because we are paying 50000 per class. And now, thank God, we got it free. So I appreciate so much for this class. Yeah, my own commitment, I hope and I pray that towards my own effort to make them happy then for the next people that will come. Reporting for Global Multimedia Online TV Daily Home News, Victoria Kamara reporting. 
Talking about the old system of doing farming activities, taking a U-turn for development in the agricultural sector, and fighting against hunger, Youth Smile Sierra Leone have been training local farmers in Mange Loco on their planting techniques, using of animal waste as fertilizer, and nursing stage for the cultivation of pepper and onions, which will give them better harvest at the end of the season. Edna K. Kamara has more. Being that agribusiness is gradually becoming a major focus for many people, especially youth, I've decided to put more focus and energy into agricultural activities. Youth Smile Sierra Leone has embarked in massive cultivation of pepper and onions as one of their activities stands and fights to achieve food security in Sierra Leone. In actualizing this, the organization has trained local farmers whom have been used to the old system of farming a better and lucrative method to get more produce while farming. In an exclusive interview with the executive director of Youth Smile Sierra Leone, Ali M. Koma made mentions of what they have been doing and some of the challenges faced so far. I said, Ali, after Unimac, where are you going? You see, I have to say the answer is you have to go and help your people, meet your people, help what they want, seek their interests, solve if you can. So what came, came up was, uh, Ali, you have to go into farming. And what type of farming do, do you need to go to? I said, don't go to farming just because you want to go farm, into farming, but uh, choose agribusiness. So this is why I choose agribusiness together with colleagues with the same motive. We are in the same strive. Being the executive director doesn't mean I'm alone. We are in this together. We are seeing how best we put things together to see how best Youth Smile SL Farms start um, producing its um, awesome fruits and process because that's our, our thinking. We are aiming at processing and uh, packaging. Yeah. All that we are doing here now, cultivating pepper and uh, small amounts of maize in five acre lands. The major crop we are cultivating is pepper. In five acre lands, is, uh, all of this funding is coming from us, the executives. You see, it's, um, it's very, very difficult for a university student in Sierra Leone who hasn't started working, who has no job, to be raising some funds to see how best he could take a challenge of search in um, promoting food security. So um, there are a lot of challenges. Go away from the funding. Let's talk about the climatic conditions. We, we started uh, this particular process um, back March ending to April. This was a sunny um, weather for Sierra Leone. And this season we experienced a lot of sun instead of um, rains coming at a particular time we're expecting them. So um, there, there were really, really difficulties. There were really, really challenges that disturbs us a lot coming from the nursery. But we could cope because we have one mind and we are working together. These, according to the CEO, is to encourage youth in the country to find ways and means of solving the problems of societies and the country at large. As they have all it takes to build and improve the agricultural sectors in the country. Beneficiaries, however, explain their experiences and what they have gained in the process. Um, I don't learn plenty of things of this, this youth mind program. And then I don't learn how to make them. We don't have for me compost manure. Um, we in a farmer then, we get we 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 get we own method we we apply now. But the plantation not can do well now. Yeah. But we plenty we tell plenty thanks to the people that we that can learn we how for make manure and put on power with uh, power plantation or plantation they come off fine. This we are planting, you know they do well. They know for sure come. Then like waiting we don't can see how in the plants they find. Reporting for Global Multimedia Online TV Daily Home News, I'm Edna Kane. Residents of Kabulin in Makeni has embarked on road maintenance in their community. It is a self-support exercise for their comfort since they have tried severally calling and waiting on their councillor and member of parliament to fulfill their promise. Our reporter Michael J. Mai Content now reports. Poor road network has been a serious challenge within Makene City. Residents in Ward 36 of Kagolin Radio Maria expressed their plight over the human road trap that has not only been battered or unfavorable for free movement of people, cars and motorbikes, which is a loophole for accident. 
and according to the residents, they told us that the road became worse than ever as a result of the McKinney City Council vehicle that was stuck in the middle of the road. And they came with other vehicles to pull the lorry from the mud. Yesterday, some Zika happened yesterday. Between the Sankas today. Yes, I will come and take the dirty. Then pass now. Then meet the good bad. And still they reach some more. They can't pass the road. They can't pass it. And they can't. All can be big struck now. Youth of this community mobilized themselves to see how they could put stones for easy passage. Residents are firms. Yesterday, some car and car and can't point the road. They saw they left the road for me. Rebel make car and saw they left them. But this money, each man they get for common, they mobilize themselves. They can't for car walk, and that's not the way they can't for them. They self decide for me for the small shop where they eat. We be the struggle for what's on here. First of all, go from Radio Maria. I don't go where we go connect to pay because we. Uh, even the road, the one the governor even consider me for what kind of three years this? What kind of three years this? Like to not get her, I will go take her from the street. And I even at another tell we say na cast to end this street cast to get here. But this street cast they consider we. When I say they say we don't have Bambali, na cast to get here. Cast down how they consider we. Look who streets them all point. No, no, no streets all day where they say this now fine. If it is bad enough for them, I say better make. Don't get not to know, but not they get something. Fine. The app, who are one day they can't help me, they can't see the damages who don't have to the rainbow course in the area. Who every year, who they take their responsibilities, they may and they them. If they clean the road, who they make, take fence stone, they can't cover the place who don't damage. Every year, so they can't see, they will able to talk to them. Then we we'll, then we'll see to what they tell them. However, I made several calls to reach the Member of Parliament and Councillor, but of no positive avail. Global Multimedia Online TV Daily Room News, Michael Jemai Conte reporting. You can see now, you can see me now. You can see me now. All I'm about now. Just volunteer no more, bro. You know, get, you know, no support, you know. You just can't know as a youth man. Yes, we for me area. Yes, we for empower area. Over 10 organizations has come together to speak with one voice and support each other in the fight against SGBV. Under the Bombali SGBV Tax Force, which has been changed to Community of Practice, COP. This, according to the COP, is to facilitate justice and rehabilitation for SGBV survivors, preventing sexual violence against children engage law enforcement and the government institutions working on SGBV issues like the FSU, government hospital, magistrate and high court. Desmond Alfred Jonathan Farmer now reports. The COP is an independent non-profit and civil society led initiative with the purpose and focus of multi-agency collaboration and partnership with prominent child and women activist organizations and institutions in the region. To utilize the collective experience of these organizations and institutions with the sole aim of raising public awareness against child sexual abuse, to be a pressure group against sexual abuse cases to be fast-tracked, to provide better access to justice for survivors, to provide legal and psychosocial support for survivors to avert the detrimental psychological and developmental effects of sexual abuse on children and women. However, the Bombali SGBV Task Force on the 17th of July 2020 was changed to Community of Practice, COP, a voluntary group of people with the sole aim of strengthening their efforts in the fight against SGBV, sharing a common concern to grow their practice. According to the chairperson, Madam Anita, director of Girl Child Network, explains what the public should expect from them as they will be working with the community people and police to ensure that perpetrators are brought to justice and find possible means of taking care of victims of SGBV. We well, now they go for no other things then, now that particular case then, they, now they will hide in deeper. A canal for report, a canal for support uh, the, the individual, a canal for push medical law. We is like going to be a force, a force for, for push issues the way they sleep, the one the way no one do. So we come up with something, oh, they talk, um, uh, uh, survival-centered approach. 
that's now one of the things that one can work with and try for push the survival center approach they can look at we one forget the government for pay attention to them things there the delay cases then the one the way they go write a report they not agree for push them how long you go delay the case they go going to court pass away the puppets get or don't uh, the the survival die you left the family into struggle we borrow them from nigeria emo states where they do them and then succeed you where they delay the case it be now you now i call george it be now you now this so it be now you now policeman who push the case let us say i go now right, court. So if you not do how will they bring you inside the case Jibrila Abbas Kamara, country coordinator, Help the Young to Grow organization, was one of the participants during the meeting. He shows his full support to the COP. Us to come together, form a consortium wherein we can, you know, fight against gender-based violence issues is something to reckon on. You know, and my organization is a child protection organization and we stand tall in matters that has to do with um, um, gender-based violence and domestic violence. So it's an opportunity, it's something, you know, we really embraced as an organization and myself in particular, you know, because I am also a journalist and a child activist. I support it and 100% we are going to offer our service in seeing that we succeed in the fight against this gender-based violence and things that surround it. Global Multimedia Online TV Daily Home News, Desmond Alfred Jonathan Farmer reporting. This is all we have time for in today's Daily Home News. Thanks to the production team for a job well done. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook page and all of our social media accounts to get first-hand information in and out of the country. Have a pleasant night and thanks for watching. Dr. Vincent Connor Road in McKinney.